So, here's how I think at least Braun Breaker should arrive on the main roster and have his debut. Now, he called out Seth Rollins for a World Heavyweight Championship match. I think on NXT, I'm not sure. And it's it better be. If it's for some strangest reason not in the main event, I'm actually just not going to watch it. Because that's main event level. Braun Breaker is so underrated. It's just because so many people don't watch NXT. Braun Breaker, bro. I think he's the best in NXT right now. I would tie him with Carmelo Hayes and Wesley, but they both debuted. Wait, I'm not sure about Wesley, but yeah. Braun Breaker, he's so far up there, bro. Like, he, he needs to debut on the main roster, so he's I think he should. So, after Seth Rollins uh, started off the match strong, uh, Braun a breaker finally managed to hit his spear after Seth um, was about to Irish whip him into the ropes and then Braun Breaker reversed and then Irish whipped him into the ropes and then dropped down and then hit a devastating spear he didn't even have time to do the leapfrog boom spear he sets him up for the Steiner recliner but Seth escapes and after he escapes, he kicks him to the gut, bats out the ropes, jumps up, and boom, a curve stomp. And he looks to do the same again, but no, Ron Breaker pops him up for a military press power slam out of nowhere. Cover, one, two, no. So close, yet so far from Seth losing that title. Later on in the match, Seth manages to hit pedigree. And then, after a massive uh, superplex uh, from the middle rope, um, he covers Braun Breaker. One, two, no. Braun Breaker kicks out. Now Seth lines him up for a stop. Braun Breaker gets out of the way, tosses him into the corner, looks for a super, uh, superplex, but no. Uh, Seth reverses and Seth turns the tables well t- turns them around um, and he t- he, they've swapped positions now and Seth uh, hits an avalanche pedigree and lines him up for a last bomb and then right after that he hits a final pedigree and covers him. One, two, three. No. Sad times for Braun Breaker, bro. Braun Breaker could not capture the World Heavyweight Championship. But it's fine. Over the coming weeks, Braun Breaker develops a new character. He's masked. But he has a very peculiar mask. And a very peculiar piece of black clothing, and his promos are very peculiar. Everything's peculiar about him, alright? And obviously, we're getting close up to money in the bank. And there is said to be three mystery people participating in the match. One is a returning Drew McIntyre. So first, all the people come out. So I would probably say it is six man ladder match, right? I think uh, I'm not sure. Or is it, if it's eight man, if it, uh, let me do six man first. If it's six man, um, Jimmy Uso, uh, yeah, Jimmy Uso, um, Kevin Owens, uh, Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar. Um, Elias, wait no, um, take away Elias and that, the Brock Lesnar, um, uh, then, uh, Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, 
and uh, mystery man. But if it's eight man, then um, put 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 them two back in. <laughs> um, but yeah. I feel like there has to be at least two mid card talent and maybe even a bottom card talent. But I think Carmelo Hayes should also be in there. But when Bron Breaker's music hits, everyone is like, yes! But it quickly switches to booze as it is not Bron Breaker. It is another masked man who is mocking Bron Breaker. He in masks. And it's Seth freaking Rollins. But then from behind, here comes Bron Breaker. He's attacking him. At least we think it's Bron Breaker. Because he's also wearing a different outfit. And then, he waits for two other masked people. Uh, apparently this is going to be a nine-man ladder match. Everyone's confused. But the match starts, and here we go. Brock Lesnar manages to hit a massive F5 on Cody Rhodes, and Brock Lesnar is targeting Cody Rhodes for the entire match. So that's already two people out of the equation. Um, and then there's Elias, who's getting absolutely mauled. By a returning Randy Orton. And then we got Jimmy Uso. Uh, going up against uh, Randy Orton. So that's boom. Six people out the equation. And at the top of the ladder though. Is one of the mystery men. Who isn't wearing Braun Breaker's clothing. And there's one at the bottom who is. And everyone's a bit confused until Cody looks for a crossroads from the top. But no, that other dude uh, hits a military press power slam and he uh, slams Cody down and he, then he tosses him out the ring and then he steps out the ring. It is Braun Breaker. And then, boom, what happens is. Uh, Bron Breaker uh, exits the ring and uh, goes backstage and the other mystery man at the top of the ladder wins Money in the Bank. Now, what happens over the following week, there are many promos where it's just him getting interviewed and to close, um, uh, to close off, uh, the Raw, or SmackDown, uh, after, um, I put, wait, Raw, right? Raw after Money in the Bank, to close it off, uh, after the main event, is, well, no, nah, it's in like, it's much exactly in between, uh, the main event, uh, and the co-main event, um, uh, and the three mystery men, well, uh, well, no, Seth is there, and there's the two mystery men uh, on the Grayson Waller effect. So I think that would be a good way to get Grayson Waller some exposure on the WWE TV, obviously. Um, and uh, I think that one of them should flex the money in the bank briefcase, and then Seth hit a pedigree on the one who looks like Braun Breaker but then the one who um, doesn't look like Braun Breaker proceeds to beat him up but he doesn't really use any Braun Breaker moves it's quite strange well obviously not you know uh, neither is Braun Breaker though he only uses the military press power slam and that is it he doesn't even use the spear anymore he just uses the um, Steiner recliner and the military press power slam. Um, but Mr. Bron Breaker, um, he's over here flexing with his new friend, who we still don't know. 
and now Braun Breaker's officially unmasked, and he betrays the first masked man. But what's strange is, we see it backstage, and we only see Braun Breaker's face. But wait, Braun Breaker wasn't in any of those, uh, wasn't any of those masked men. And then there's some confusion before, before they both start attacking Braun Breaker. And then we see Seth in the background laughing. Now, Braun Breaker is off. Um, he attacks the masked men at any chance he gets. But the one in all black, Seth, Seth, um, Seth Rollins, um, actually cuts a promo in the uh, right after a match uh, at SummerSlam. Uh. Uh, right, uh, right after the co co main event, um, Seth cuts a promo real quick, and he's saying, "So, where's the guy in the black? Because there's two men in grey, but." I swear when I had the interview with them on the Grace and Waller effect on Monday Night Raw one of them was black. One one of the one of them was in black. Oh shit. One of them was in black. Oh god, I'm I'm sorry, I I worded that wrong. But yeah, one of them was in black. Um Oh Jesus, I'm so sorry. Oh god, cancel me Twitter. I dare. Do it. Do it. Uh, do it. I don't even have Twitter, so it's not my winner. How about that? Um, I think. No, no, no. Uh, Seth says, I don't think any of them were. B and then Braun Breaker's music hits, but no one comes out. But the two grey masked men come out in the crowd. And they run after uh, Seth, and it both lift up Seth military press power slam, double military press power slam, and then Brom Breaker's music stops before it starts again, but it's distorted, and now we see a masked man. Uh, the black max man walk to the ring and he unmasks it's brawn breaker this whole time he grabbed two of the people who are about to unmask too um and um uh, uh, Braun Breaker slowly, carefully walks to the ring while Seth's getting beaten the shit out of. Uh, and finally, when he arrives, he hits a military press power slam uh, onto the Money in the Bank briefcase, cashes in, hits a, 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 orders all three of them to hit military press power slams after each other. Braun Breaker ends it after hitting the spear. Locks in a Steiner recliner, but doesn't let Seth tap. And then hits another military press power slam and covers him. One, two, three. Bada bing, bada boom. Braun Breaker's the new world heavyweight champion on Raw. <laughs> um. And yeah, that's how I think he should debut. And then one of them on masks. And I think it should be an NXT call up. I think it should be Wesley. And then the other one, though, is Scott 
Steiner, you know, Braun Breaker's uncle. I think that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, shortly though, it would just be a tag team after Braun Breaker loses the World Heavyweight Championship to Cody Rhodes and then cuts a promo saying that he doesn't want it. Uh, he wants the Undisputed Championship. We hear Roman Reigns' music hit. Um, but he walks in with Braun Breaker, Paul Heyman, uh, Jey Uso, and Solo. And Braun Breaker rushes to him and proceeds to beat the balls out of Cody. Because I think Roman would, like, manipulate Braun or something like that. Um, but nah. Actually, no, 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 I think, well, he should half manipulate him, half Braun Breaker's own choice, because I think Braun would be upset that, with Cody, because, you know, he ended his, like, title reign just to give it back to him, even though the title reign has already stopped, like, sure, he'll be a two-time champion, but still, I mean, I would, sure, I would, I'm not sure, actually, I would probably be a. I would rather be a ten-time Universal Champion, and every single one of them, every single one of my reigns with 300 days, rather than have um, one long Universal Championship reign that is like a hundred billion days. Like <laughs> that's just my opinion, though. Uh, Cause I think the more like. Eh, like, I would prefer one reign, like, I will prefer one reign with a thousand days than three reigns with 50 days, obviously. Um, that's just me, though. Like, it depends how much days you're giving me as my reign. And, uh, yeah, we're not going to that, alright? And how many time champion I have. But we're not, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Braun Breaker. He runs in and he spears Seth Rollins. Uh, not Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes. Um... And then he says, you end my reign to give it back to me. I may be a two-time champion now, but I don't care. I'm giving this to someone else. And here comes Wesley, and he gives it to Wesley. Insanity. Wesley proceeds to have a long reign before he loses it to AJ Styles, I think. Probably, probably AJ. Um... And then after that, I think, um, I think Wesley and Braun should be a, a tag team and uh, win the Raw Tag Team Championships, and Sammy and uh, Kevin Owens should keep the SmackDown uh, Tag Team Championships before they have to give it back to SmackDown. And then after a 100-day reign as uh, Raw Tag Team Champions, uh, Sammy and Kevin Owens win it back, but then lose it, because uh, I think Kevin Owens, or, no, nah, mm, probably, mm, uh, I think Sammy Zayn should win the United States Championship, and Kevin Owens should win the Intercontinent Intercontinental Championship of Drew McIntyre, and I hope Drew McIntyre, uh, this, um, wins the Intercontinental Championship of Gunther, uh, after a bit longer from Gunther, I think. Gunther can have a long reign. I don't care, but I'd love to see a long reign from Gunther. Gunther always has five star matches. I don't care when it's a. Okay, okay, I'm in the video. Sorry for stretching it. I still don't have an outro. Oh my god. Help me create an outro, boy.